Lizzie Armistead has called for um, a minimum wage to be introduced into the women's professional peloton. I know that that was something that you were keen to advocate when, when you took over as a presidency of the UCI. Where are you at the moment on that? Well, yeah, I, I am very keen on having a minimum wage for women. Uh, it's something that I, I did promise to do. Uh, what uh, I've had to do as a result of the advice that I've received from the Women's Commission and women that are involved in, uh, in road racing um, in, in, on the Road Commission is um, put that on hold temporarily whilst we develop and evolve women's road racing. I think that is all going in the right direction now. We are getting more and more events. Uh, uh, we've heard in the last couple of days about some more events. We're going to have a much stronger um, World Cup calendar and international calendar. I think we're moving towards something like a World Tour for, for women within the next two or three years I think we can make some more developments and you know within that period I think we'll, we'll be in a position to establish um, a minimum wage for women uh, for prof professional teams that may mean that we have perhaps two or three levels of, of women's teams because I think at the moment if you just pass the rule said there must be a, win a minimum wage for uh, UCI women's teams actually that wouldn't have the desired effect of making a few hundred women be paid the minimum wage it would have the effect of destroying and uh, reducing the number of teams and other teams re-registering as amateur teams again so you know it's not as simple as just passing a rule um, to say that there shall be a minimum wage it's a, what we're trying to do is develop women's sport develop the economy of the women's side of, of the sport and I think uh, I think we've seen some really uh, useful uh, elements of progression in, in that. What has been the biggest step or progression in the last 12 or so months in terms of women's cycling? Well, I think the investment that UCI made in uh, television coverage in the World Cup and the relaunch of the Women's World, World, World Cup has been uh, absolutely pivotal to that. And, you know, I welcome other events like La Tour uh, and also standalone events like uh, the, the Women's Tour, the Friends Life Women's Tour in the UK. I mean, that was, that's was that been a great event and it demonstrates, I think, my point that women's events don't always need to be secondary or subsidiary to men's events. They can stand on their own uh, and be really successful.